This is what? This is my little mopine. This is a, a dish towel that has pot holders in the Oh corners. my goodness, that's, oh, that is so cool. Isn't that cool? All right. Thank wow. you. Wow, I'm impressed. You came I up with all the coolest thing. Uh, wow. Yeah, I stapled pot holders to the sides of dish towels and went to a guy and said, here, make this. Just do it. <laughs> and, but make it look pretty. <laughs> uh, so, what we have in here is um, these are uh, russet potatoes we cut into cubes and we put them in boiling water along with a half a teaspoon of baking soda. You put them in boiling water Yeah, baking soda. You don't start in cold water, which is what you and I both are used to. Right, that's and the just way you're one minute of a okay. boil and then I'm gonna try not to get a potato facial. <laughs> but if I do, yeah, there we go, okay. And you just, what the baking soda does, and by the way, this is a tip we learned from a magazine you and I both like very much, Cook Illustrated. Oh, we and, love it so much. And we Chris do. Chris Kimball is we just do. the bomb. We do, we love all his bow ties back, too. Yep, okay. back in the, in the hot pot. Okay, and then we put it back on the stove. Oh dear, I turned this off. Oh, I figured out how to turn there it off. There we go. I'm so impressed with my Now, pot. why did we put the baking uh, so, soda in there? It softens up the outside of the potato. It sort of it makes it real soft so that it crisps up. It's sort of like you bruise it. Wow. These are still pretty uh, raw inside, obviously. It was only one minute. And now we're trying to get a film on them. And this is all going to ah. create the starch. The starch. They yeah. Make a nice crust. Yes, yes, yes. And then after you've gotten this, you do this about 30 seconds. So let's say that was 30 seconds. So they're seconds. only boiled one minute. Exactly. In the salt and, and the baking soda. Right. And then we add some butter. And then you, you stir add them around. A, about a teaspoon and a half of salt. Yep. This recipe will be on the website, so I don't have to remember all of this. Right, right, right. Okay, then you stir this. Now, Rachel, can you get out of the top oven sure, sure. a hot sheet pan we've been heating that we're going to dump this into? Beautiful. Okay. And then this goes into a 500 degree oven. Wow. Yes, hot, 500. Hot, hot. We know that's hot. Okay, you can, yeah, good, that's Got good. It. And it goes in there. Oops. Oops, did we have picked a heavier pan? No, you know, my problem is my, my schmata's in the way. There you go. Okay, there we go. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh, dear. There okay. we go. Really, this, oops, this that's could a be a heavy nightgown. baby, this right? Be, hey, I have Wheaties mostly. Okay, so there we go. All okay, right, I'll, so no, wait, we have to put a little bit of EVOO on there. A little bit of olive oil. That's yeah, there we lovely. Go. Thank you. Okay, just a little bit. It's good for you. Oops, this is fancy. Yeah, Did you invent it, this no, too? Yeah, it comes right out. Just, just keep turning it. It's not coming. Oh, there we there go. There you go. Okay, I just had the strength of my convictions. There you okay, go. Very attractive. I like that. It works well, for left-handed people, you. too. One can fall off a truck for you, Sarah. <laughs> oh, I like that. Okay. I, maybe I need one of these, too. Okay. And a little muffin. All right, so after 30 minutes, this is what you've got. Oh Don't my those look God, gorgeous? They you want smell to smell amazing. Here, yeah. And you see, what happens is with the look double cooking, crunchy. and yes, they're crunchy, crunchy on the outside, because when we make them at home, they just don't cook that way. And they're not way. greasy, too. No. I love that. So that is the, um, the home, I should say home fries. Home fries. Okay. Yay. Okay. Okay. Okay.